Hello guys and welcome back to Pokemon Black Blaze Everlock and Randomizer. Right, so we are here back again. Ah damn it, I'm trying to get on my bike when I shouldn't be. Alright, so yeah, we're back here again in this Pokemon Center. Um as you can tell I did a bit of grinding. Uh, so let's have a little gander at the team now. It's only two of them still, obviously. It's uh Dumb and Run Ran. And uh Dumb is level 10 and Run Ran is level eleven. Um so uh, let's get the crap out of here. And then uh, let's go up north. Uh, so this is the second time we actually download and um, download and playing this. Uh, the reason for that is <clears throat> I accidentally caught an S Cavalier here, and I was like, ah, fuck this. I might as well just not record because uh, last episode I obviously caught Biddy here, didn't I? So um, I need to. I don't know if I should train a bit more or anything, but. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep Dumb up front, and yeah, see how that goes during this episode. Hopefully that goes alright. So we got this dude here to battle, he's got three Pokemon. So he's got Spiro. Spiro shouldn't be too bad for Biddy's to take out, especially he's only level 5. But he hasn't got a crazy ass moveset, like with fighting moves and everything. Um, so yeah, he's uh, just gained... Um, Defense Curl, he's still got Growl and Tackle, and that's about it. Uh, so he hasn't really got the biggest moveset in the world. Oh, nice, 1 8 KO. Shiro. Alright, so let's keep <coughs> Dumb out for the next battle. I've really got something clogging my throat here. It is not happy days. Um, so, Lillipup. I should be able to take out Lillipup here as well. So, let's get Lillipup out the way. Oh, I got so much crap around me, stopping me from moving my atoms. So yeah, let's get the tackle in. Alright. Ooh, Lillipup. So he's uh, just lowered my goddamn defense. But it doesn't matter because as long as we're faster than them, uh, then it shouldn't really matter. Because, oh, speed fell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't really matter too much though. And there we go. Alright, so that is Lillipup down. And we have one more to go if, we, if I'm not mistaken. And last but not least uh, is hoot 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 hoot. No, I won't. I will keep dumb out. Um, and dumb can just tackle the crap out of you as well. Are we gonna get a one hit KO here? Birds. They like to go down like shit. All right, so <clears throat> let's just keep uh, beating the crap out of these guys. Oh, so he's using hypnosis here. Ah, that's bad times for me. Alright, let's see if we can speed forward a little bit. Honestly, if I woke up after one turn, I probably won't. But as long as he's not going to tackle me to death, which he probably won't, unless he gets like seven consecutive critical hits. Which ain't going to happen. I ain't going to let it happen. I need to wake up. Wake up. Dumb. You're so dumb. You don't even know how to wake up in the morning. That was like the worst Yo Mama joke ever, even though it was, uh, you know, no Yo Mama joke. But, uh, oh yeah, he woke up and that is Hoot Hoot down for the count. Finally, Jesus. Alright, so this guy down. It's enough said. Enough said, really. Alright, so that guy won't battle you. I already know that. Um, so let's get up here. Alright, so we're going into the ranch there. Um, this is Route 20. So. I'm going to catch a Pokemon up here because this is a new area. So let's hope we get something cool coming up. But, ah, no, we got this battle. Damn it! Kind of forgot about this. Um, I have a feeling I ain't gonna do too well, uh, but that's just me because I think it's Oshawott's like extremely overpowered. Like when I mean extremely overpowered, I mean ridiculously overpowered. So I'm gonna. Keep dumb, all dumbed up. Oh, I need, I need help, really. Uh, so I don't think I'm gonna make it through here without losing a Pokemon. Alright, come on. Alright, run, man. Alright, so he's using Peck. Uh, let's see if I can get a decent double kick in and uh, get one of those double kicks at critical hit. Because he'll go down in one. Like a Sakashi. No way. Not a chance in hell. There we go. Um, Shrugged off, you're stronger than that. Uh, so let's keep going here. Hopefully, he will level up at the end of 
Oh, quick win, nice. Alright, so obviously I'm not as fast than him, so oh he's using focus energy anyway, and he's down. He'll be down after this kick. So there he is, Taylor down. Hit one times. Cool. Alright, here we go, he's level 12. That's a good thing about Run Run, he evolves like a little bitch. So, uh, we've got an Oshawott coming up. Um, I'm going to keep battling with uh, Run Run. Just in a moment. I know his um, water gun is very strong. I know that much. And this doesn't do any damage. Like him in general, not even too strong. I'm going to see how much damage a scratch does from... Okay, so not much, really. And yeah, the little gun does the most damage there. So let's get a Moonlight going. So... Here we go. Alright, that did nothing. But he used Tail Whip, that's good. It's good, because uh, the only way he's going to be able to beat him now is if he uses Tackle. Uh, well, if he loads my defense, anyway. If that's what he's setting up for, which I don't get why, because if he just mashes uh, war gun at me, then he knows he's going to win anyway. But, um, oh, well, I don't mind if he's just going to lower my defense, and I can just keep double kicking him. The um, thing is, I know he'll do quite a bit of damage if I take out Dumb, but I reckon Dumb will do more damage than one that will. So he just uses Orange Berry, which is good for us, I suppose. That's not too good, though. Oh, I could use Sweet Kiss, couldn't I? I might give it... Oh, no! No, 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 no! Alright, so come on, do heal me a bit more than you usually would. Come on. Ah, uh, come on. Uh, I'll use Tail Whip. Alright, so I'm going to use my last Moonlight. <laughs> And I'm going to use Sweet Kiss, and hopefully that will get me the win. Is that Sweet Kiss? Okay, Tackle might do some damage. Yeah, not too bad. Sweet Kiss. Hopefully that will confuse the crap out of him, and then I'll bring out Bidoof. Alright, so this is literally... Oh, yes. Oh, I did pretty good damage as well uh, for a confusion at this level. So let's get Dumb out. Hopefully Dumb doesn't get hurt too bad. But I know tackle it seems to work quite well. Yes! That confusion, man! Doing some decent damage. Alright, so accuracy raised sharply. I just don't want his attack to go down. That's the only thing I don't want. It's not bad confusion. We use war gun. Ah, uh, it could be bad times. Oh, not so. Alright, come on. Come on. Speed up, speed up, speed. Yes! Yes, I might be able to win this. Come on, speed! Yes! Woohoohoohoohoo! I love that skill! <laughs> that ability is a freaking savior sometimes. Oh my god. I underestimate Dumb. I really do. Oh god, that was nerve wracking as hell. That was almost both of our guys down. Alright, you're thinking about bringing out your Pokemon strength. I should be able to count on you for backup. What are you doing here anyway? Ah, oh, that's how Matt. Alright, so. She didn't have to do that for me. Thanks to you, um, we, uh, thanks to you, whew, thanks to you too, we just left and you already helped me out. Alright, so we got these guys coming up here, the ranch owners, if I'm not mistaken. And I thought it was, uh, lively around here. Are you having a Pokemon battle, huh? Was it, no, it must be nice to be young. Uh, who are you? Who am I? I'm the owner of this ranch and this is my wife. Uh, you should keep your Pokemon healthy and happy, right? Here, I'll give you this. Alright, so I've got Soothe Bell, right. I'm really hoping I can get something good from this area, um, and this woman should be able to help me heal. By the way, um, you don't happen to ha you didn't happen to see a herdier around here, did you? Uh, I can't figure out where it went. Our two herdier are always together, and this is the first time one has wandered off. So I'm a little worried. You're a little worried? Are you kidding me? You're probably my mother lost forever. Oh look, sweet help! <laughs> right, so looks like we're gonna be looking for a Pokemon. Uh, why do you get so mad? Uh, he's probably playing somewhere in the world. Yeah, okay, right. Yep, I do need that right now. Alright, so let's do that. She's a lot quicker than Nash to healing me. So let's go in this grass here. And let's hope something decent pops out of us. Here we go, guys. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. Amaractus is not bad at all. 
Um, level 9, though, might be a hard one to catch. Well, damage as well. Okay, sweet scent, not too bad. Okay, evasive misspell is not too bad from my end. Attack, go up, if you could. Evasive miss. <laughs> There we go, so let's do tackle. Okay, so he's using growth, which I'm not too happy about. So I don't know what his bloody moose is. Come on, attack, attack. Oh, speed. Oh, that might be good though, because uh, then I can tackle first. Ask questions later. <laughs> so we got a peck. Okay, so that peck does some damage. Alright, so let's see if we can get Magdus into a Pokeball here. If not, then um, I'll swap out to Run Ran uh, to catch, uh, to confuse it, and then I'll try and catch it then. Alright, so Maractus, come on, stay in the Pokeball. One shake, two shakes, three shakes, cool! Yes! Alright, so we got Maractus. This is an interesting catch because I've never, I don't know much about this uh, guy. Uh, when it uh, moves, okay, bye. Uh, <laughs> his name, okay. Um, uh,. It's a dude, so let's call him uh, the the G G Queen. It's a grass type, I hope. Don't know, <laughs> don't know many five gen Pokemon. Not gonna lie, I well, I do know all of them, but I just don't know much about them. Or why am I naming Goo? Um, I was gonna name him G uh, G G G Man. G Man. It's gonna be G Man. G Man. Settled on G Man. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, G, M, I, N. Let's go over and get that hyphen in. G, man. So, there we go, let's get G, man in there. Alright, so we've got the G, man. Alright, he's level 9 as well, which is good. That means I don't have to uh, do any leveling or anything. So, let's have a little look at him and his moveset. So, G, man. Uh, let's go summary. Uh, Peck, absorb, sweet scent, and growth. Not bad, not bad at all. And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. All right, so let's get to healing, and then we'll go up towards the north. And then that should uh, be a big hand. So I'm gonna pop uh, Maractus probably, probably out in front, uh, just to uh, I don't know why that does that, but okay. All right, so let's go into our Pokemon. Jesus, then. Right, go to our Pokemon now. Uh, switch them out for G-Man. Oh yeah, G-Man. Let's uh, get going through here then. And uh, I say go, go up north. Oh, yeah, that's where we're going to be going anyway. I uh, did hurry a wander back here. Let's have a look. Okay, so let's have a wander up here. And let's see who we have. Okay, so we got this guy. I was thinking, oh, it's fine with me. Yeah. All right, so we got Janitor Orville. All right, so we got Biddy for up. Uh, Burr, it shouldn't be too bad. We know what Musa is going to have on that belief anyway. Unless uh, the creator of this game decided to be an evil loop there, uh, which hopefully he hasn't. So let's uh, use a flying move, which is a bit odd for a grass like to have. But I actually don't know the typing of this guy. I should really know that so then I can use him a bit better. Um, but yeah, three hits on this belief should take him out. Alright, uh, well, let's just hope that attack falling didn't do too much. Oh, it did! It did! It saved him another round. Alright, so let's use Peck and get him down. Nice. Nicely done. Alright, let's have a look at his stats in a second then, when it comes up. So, head of, you switch your Pokemon. Alright, let's have a little look and see. So, summary, yeah, I thought it was a grass type. Uh, so, let's go back. I don't know why I kept that. Uh, right, yeah, should be fine ish. Okay, so my attack's falling because of growl. Uh, just tackle. That's the only thing I've really got. Okay, so that. That was super effective. I had a feeling he might have a gust attack, but I wasn't sure if he was going to use it. So let's uh, go out to Run Man. And, uh, oh, this is just growl. Probably could have taken him out with uh, G Man, but, you know, on the safe side, it is a block, to be fair. I don't want to be getting any Pokemon deaths again. 
I've already had one this ep uh, this series, and uh, this is episode two. So, uh, poor little Shelda, little Shelly, gonna remember you for about five more episodes probably. Then I'll end up again, like I always do. I'm terrible at remembering a Pokemon I've had, which is bad, because we're gonna have emotional bonds with them. Uh, I was a bit devastated that I did lose him, but you know. Uh, so, slack off. Ooh, okay. Um, let's wait, slack off. So, let's switch Pokemon. Let's go go G Man again. Let's do some absorbing. I have, I have a feeling absorb will be a good idea to use as soon as he's not exactly on top form at the moment with his HP. Let's see how much that does. Probably won't do over too much. Ooh, did more than I expected. Nice. So, he's going to use a scratch. Okay, and I'm just going to use Absorb again. Heal him nicely. Heal him. Guess uh, Slackos spec defense isn't as good as I thought it was. So, Absorb's not exactly the most powerful move, and that did ridiculously good damage to be fairly honest. And he's almost healed again, which is happy days for me, and he's gained some aura XP from that. Happy days! Happy days! Alright, so let's... Uh... Oh, I never said anything about my new layout. So... Uh, let's just do this bit. Uh, oh, here, I'll share something good with you. Yes! 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 Exactly what I need in this playthrough. If you have a Pokemon this week, then let me start some XP. Okay. So that's good. I don't need it at the moment. Um, so, yeah, the layout. I changed it because um, uh, I kind of did use the last one. The last one um, that I had. Um, was a template uh, that I basically full screened on my TV and I print screened it because I didn't have a clue on how to set out the boxes and the template and all that kind of stuff. So what I did do is I kind of copied the layout that he was using as uh, Sacred Gold. So um, I didn't have enough time to uh, do anything but copy it so I did move it around today. Um, it took me a good couple of hours to figure out something that was actually decent. Um, so I got this one. I'm happy with it. I'm actually a lot happier than I was before about it. So um, yeah, I can't really complain. Okay, so that, okay, it didn't do too much. That's cool. So yeah. Um, so if you're watching again, Nappy, uh, saw your comment. I uh, got a different layout now. I uh, hope you didn't mind that I used it for the one episode. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is the one that I'm going to stick with for the rest of the uh, series. So happy days for that. I'm, ex I'm excited. I'm, I'm really excited to play more of this and uh, I wish the rendering and stuff didn't take so long because if I did try and put one out every day then just all the rendering and the grinding involved and like, I, I would have I have no time to do it because I've got work and all that grind so so we've got G-Man to level 10 that's alright Pin Missile okay that could be interesting uh, so forget Let's have a little look at Pin Missile. So it's a bug move and it can hit two to five times. Uh, sweet Scent. Let's have a little look at Sweet Scent. Uh, evasiveness. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna forget Sweet Scent. If we need a Sweet Scent in the future, then we can always uh, get a TM for it. So we got Pin Missile. Nice. Okay, so we got a battle here from this guy. Uh, you sure are unlucky to have uh, to have run into some of the strongest. Okay, big edit. Someone's gonna get knocked off their high horse. Shit. Alright, so youngster Kenny is gonna get his ass what I think is what's gonna happen. Uh, so Psyduck and we got G-Man, which is a perfect matchup for us anyway. Uh, this absorb is gonna absolutely rinse Psyduck. Uh, but it should do anyway. Fingers crossed, so let's use Absorb. Psyduck is gonna get healed. Alright, so use hit nice. Okay. Right, so this might be a bit fun then. So let's uh, keep tapping absorb until G-Man wakes up. He is uh, lowering my defense there with that tail whip, but who gives a clip unless he, uh, you know, has a decent attacking move, which I don't think a level eight side would. But then again, what am I to know when I've already lost one Pokemon? Uh, <laughs> I do have to think about this more strategically uh, than I am at the moment, but uh, you know. I'm just gonna wing it. <laughs> so there we go, Psyduck down. All right, so Pucciano, I'm gonna keep him out. I do, I like this guy. I really do like this guy. Okay, so he's a dark type. Um, so pin missile. Let's, let's have a little look. Okay, so I avoided it. All right, so 
this trike missile again. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so that, that was actually really, really good. Um, I'm happy about that. I'm glad I got Pin Missile now. He's got a really diverse moveset, which is great. So he can beat up fighting type Pokemon and all that jeez. We've got an Oval Stone. Cool, cool. Not too bad, not too bad. Alright, so we're doing alright. I'm I'm I feel like I'm having fun. Alright, so we've got Miraculous. I'm gonna take it out with my Miraculous using Peck. Which is weird, because a grass type with Peck doesn't make sense to me. Uh, but he does have a horn, so it kinda does. Um, it's only because of the typing uh, that Peck is. If Peck was like a uh, hidden power, then uh, it'd probably make more sense why it's on grass type Pokemon. But oh, well, I'm not complaining because it makes him uh, super effective against grass types. So let's uh, get through this grass here. Yarp. Okay, so his uh, poop here. Did you just hear that right now? Hey, Shane, sorry, you go deeper into green for it. Okay, there he is. Right, so that herd here is up there, and he is with that goddamn team thing. Oh god, a Kingdra! Holy crap! I'm killing this shit. This should be fun. Alright, G-Man, you're gonna absorb the crap out of this Kingdra. Storm Drain, and he gets... Ooh! Special attack rise. That's cool. That's a that's a good effect. Uh, ability. I missed the... Storm Drain again, so raising my spec attack. Absorb. Doesn't damage me, and I get healing and spec attack up. That is good. Okay, so G Man against Water type Pokemon is amazing by the looks of it. I know what is going to be my main guy to use against his Oshawa. This guy! <laughs> G Man! Awesome. Alright, so he's level 11 now. Oh, he gained some good XP from that Kingdra, man. Easy kills as well. Jesus Christ. Right, so... Let's, uh... Have a look into our Pokemon list here. Alright, so, yeah, I'm gonna keep G-Man out. Um... And, yeah, let's just get round... Oh, no, I wanna see what's in that Pokeball. Potion. Not bad. Comes in handy. Alright, so what am I gonna get now? Ooh! Tortuga. The Isle of Tortuga. I mean, it's like completely different, but uh, that's, <laughs> that's what gets on in my head, guys. Uh, so let's absorb the crap out of this guy. Let's hope he uses some water moves and gives me a spectac boost. Oh, look at that. Almost a one at Kia. I find that quite funny that the uh, evolution of this one it was in Route 1, and now we've got uh, the de evolution of it in uh, this ranch here. But, you know, what can you do? Critical hit as well, is super effective. Almost level 12 there. Alright, so let's go up here and let's have a little look. I did it, Yarp. I cry, you found it. What a relief. Okay, I'll go call his trainer, so you stay here with it. Tch, you little pest. I'm a member of the group that strikes fear into the hearts of those who stand before it. T Plasma! Ever heard of it? Yes. Right, that's, uh, that's right. With a righteous group that I tried to conquer you over two years back in order to liberate Pokemon. Whatever, fools will never understand us. Still, I got a last cha uh, lost chasing Herdia, and some nosy kid caught me. Uh, all your fault. Take this. Okay, that's weird that you give me. Uh... Oh, he's <laughs> frustrated. So he gave me <laughs> TM21 frustration. Nice. I use this opportunity now to retreat for now. Okay. Alright, so he's pissed off. So good. So good. And Herdia is happy to see me. Yeah, move. And here are the trainers coming through now. Harpy Day. Oh no, hurry up. What made you come all the way back here? Well, at any rate, I'm really grateful for you to, uh, your two Zeus's help. So you're awfully calm about this. Your Pokemon might have uh, been gone for good. Take better care of it. Okay, so he's gone loopy about uh, people who don't look after Pokemon over the looks of it. Hmm, I wonder if something's happened to him. It's like he's afraid of losing Pokemon. Come on, hurry up. Everyone's waiting. Let's go home. Right, so do I get to go out of here? Nope. They're gonna leave me here to die. <laughs> no kidding. So what's gonna come up now? Oh, we've got a Pikachu. All right. Too bad I can't catch anything right now, but oh, I just want to catch so many more Pokemon. Ah, oh, so frustrating. All right, so Pikachu is gonna get killed. 
Can you use Tail Whip on G Man? That ain't gonna work. What you doing, fool? So let's use Absorb. Just just to kill it because we can. Thunder Shock's not gonna do much. One damage. As I said, not gonna do much. <laughs> let's use Absorb one more time. Take him out. Hopefully, get my one HP back. There we go. Full health again. <laughs> And hopefully G-Man should level up from this. Awesome, awesome. All right, so uh, let's carry on going back down this way. Oh, go that way. There we go. All right, so let's get me some healings. Oh, can you not heal me now? You're not gonna heal me now. You're gonna be a little bitch. All right, so let's go get back down to Elder then, and see what what's gonna happen. All right. I genuinely don't know how to get down that way, but oh well. Right, so we got. Oh, um, it looks like you've delivered the town map to your friend. You were only gone a moment, but you were. Um, you and your Pokemon have grown. Why? Well, I almost could make a mistake with someone else. Well then, instead of training you, I'd like to give I'd like you and your Pokemon to give me a hand. Okay, so we're gonna give Alda a hand. I always thought this was cool that he's got like a little uh, challenge uh, area in front of his house. Uh, oh, I am. X speed never use them. <laughs> I don't know many people who use stuff like that to be fairly honest. Alright, so let's go up through here and see what Elder needs help with. Alright, so okay, so are we gonna help uh, train that person, sir? Really? But that trainer looks really tough. That's right, this trainer may be tough, but you can learn from losing as well. More importantly, haven't I been telling you to just enjoy Pokemon battles? Oh, so, uh, so sweet, please. Uh, okay. So, she was called about my. Okay, so we got these two guys here. I have a feeling they might be rammed up a bit more than uh, the usual games, uh, thanks to uh, Dre. Um, so, we got uh, Pan Sage here. So. Alright, so let's see what G Man is capable of by you pecking the crap out of him. There we go. I really do like G Man. I, I'm a big. Like, I don't know. I'm just instant fan of him. I don't know why. No reason to be. There we go, so he's down. Oh, good XP there. Snivy. Okay, another grass type Pokemon. Um, so I'm gonna switch out for Run Run. Uh, get Run Run a little bit of XP. Even though he's my highest level Pokemon, which makes no sense. Well, technically highest level Pokemon, but um Yeah, double kick. Get, get, I, know, I know I could get him down a lot easier by uh Using um, G Man, but the G, the G Dog. Alright, so I'm, I think I'm gonna get Bidoof um, instead of this guy. I think. Uh, can we switch out because he's wrapped? Okay, alright, let's see. Let's see what we can do then. Um, let's sweet kiss the crap out of him. I'm supposed to have missed them yet, uh, which is no skin of my nose, but. Anyway, confuse yourself. Yes, he is. Nicely done. Alright, so that's cool. I'm still wrapped up in this crap. Alright, so let's double kick him and hopefully he still gets confused as well. Confuse. I snap out of confusion. Use the tackle. And I'm still wrapped. That's going to do two damage. And let's uh, double kick the crap out of him some more. Alright, so there we go. Critical hit. Nicely done. Run Ran is awesome! And he almost leveled up from that as well, which is cool. Alright, so he's gonna heal my Pokemon up, hopefully. That was a fine battle, both of you. Next we have. Ready? First, we have to heal your Pokemon. Sweet. Okay. Thank you for healing my Pokemon. I thought you weren't for a second, then I was gonna crap myself. So, what Pokemon do you have? Let me guess, you got uh, Pan Sage. Uh, no, you'll have. Um, yeah, Pan Ball. No, why did I say Pan Sage? I was. I think in the fire one. Ah, I can't remember. Ah, pan something. Um, Jesus Christ, this is just like G-Man Fest right now. Uh, pan saw. I don't know. <laughs> all right, so let's just keep absorbing the crap out of him, and he'll be down in no time at all. There we go, pan pull down. It's basically the other two of. Um, what we need for because uh, obviously I got Tepic so we got an Oshawott here, probably level 10 yep, so this is the second time we've been up against an Oshawott actually which is quite interesting because in most games you only 
battle them against these guys against your trainer, uh, your rival in fact, so half the time you never get to see, uh, well in my case it would be Snivy, uh, but yeah, Oshawa uh, doing a nice job. There's an actual cat, a chance that I'll be able to catch uh, any of the starter Pokemon, so I, I just really, oh Mega Drain, dude! Let's just have a little look at Mega Drain. Um, oh yeah, I'm, I'm learning it. No doubt about that. Alright, so growth can be helpful. Absorb. Okay, so I'm going to swap it for Absorb because they are pretty much the same moves and it's double the strength. So, G Man, learn Mega Drain! Yes, G Man. Slowly becoming my uh, favourite team member so far. Awesome. That was a truly rousing battle. I could tell that all the Pokemon were enjoying themselves as well. Uh, how about it, sweet? Pokemon types are very important in battle, aren't they? Water is strong against fire, fire is strong against grass, grass is uh, strong against water. Type matchups don't decide everything, though. But listen, uh, when a Pokemon uses a move that matches its uh, type, the move becomes more powerful. Let's hear those two hard-working Pokemon. Rakdos, you did a great job for sweet. Oh, you did a very great sort job. Meeting Pokemon and people you never would uh, have met otherwise is truly one of the great things about traveling. Okay, so there we go. So that is the little older side quest thingy. Okay, so we've got this guy who's going to talk to us about these metal things, isn't he? I know this is a sudden, but uh, it's nice to meet you. You don't have to say anything, just take this. Okay, so we got that. Obtain the metal box. Okay, so I'm, I might do something with the metals. Uh, yes, I do. Yeah, oh god dang it. Alright, thank you for giving me the medal. Yeah, just give me medals, medals, medals. Yeah, okay, go, go, go. Bye. Alright, so yeah, I might actually complete all the medals. I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, but I might do to make it a bit more interesting, so sweet. As for the newly opened Pokemon uh, gym in Lesperia City, I heard a new gym leader has arrived there. You should go and test how strong you've become. Okay, so. Let's uh, head our ways back down there. Let's get on our bicycle. Obviously, we won't be able to catch any more Pokemon on the way down, but... Hey, -ho. oh, sweet. Oh, I'll just back up there. Alright, so, excuse me, I forgot to tell you something important. First, take these. Orange berries, woo! Um, okay, so, those are orange berries. If you give one to your Pokemon, its HP will be restored. Uh, what's more, you can give your Pokemon a berry to hold, like this orange berry for once. Uh, instance when a Pokemon holds a berry, it can eat the berry if it gets hurt in the heat of battle and regains some of its lost HP. Just told you the gym leader, Espato, is a very strong Pokemon trainer, but you have nothing to worry about. If you have, um, if you think hard about uh, ooh, what the Pokemon at your side can do uh, and what you can do as a trainer, victory will be yours. Okay, and then you should take on stronger and stronger trainers. Actually, take on the gym leaders of each city. Riding together with your Pokemon is what makes you grow as a trainer. Uh, as you and your Pokemon grow stronger, your world will get broader. Alright, so let's head on down that way. Alright, so... Oh Christ. What is going to come up in the grass versus a Weedle? <laughs> it's a Weedle! False alarm for the awesome Pokemon, everybody. It's the Weedle. <laughs> Unless you're a fan of Weedles, then obviously, yeah, go nuts. <laughs> But yeah, um, so let's get down to here. I don't actually know how long I've been recording for. I wish I could have something that would tell me. Um, nope, that don't tell me. <laughs> uh, so when did I when did I start this? When did I start this crap? Yeah. Don't know why I made such a weird noise, but yeah. Okay, so yeah, I've been recording for about half an hour now. So I'm gonna plonk myself outside the gym. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see the next episode, don't forget to subscribe. Can't wait till the next episode because then we get to battle our first gym leader. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, thumbs up. Subscribe for next episode. I'm excited to play some more. So I'll see you Friday, guys. Peace out. <laughs>